everyone, I'm Scott Stokely, and I'm here in Scotland in what they refer to as a blustery, sunny day. And I'm here with... I'm Ali. I'm Freddie. And they own, created, run, basically do every part of the business uh, with help, uh, the Chocolate Tree. This is an honest-to-God, real-life chocolate factory. They were kind enough to give me a personalized well, I say one-on-one, two-on-one tour of the chocolate factory today. And now I want to give all of you a tour. So why don't you all come with me and I will show you what a real chocolate factory looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. I won't sing a song here because it would insult Gene Wilder. I will stop because I don't want to get copyright struck. Come on. So the first place where we started my chocolate factory for the day is we get all of our beans from Central and South America, obviously, except for the vanilla that comes from Madagascar. No, it does? Holy cow. <laughs> See, I know my, I know vanilla, actually, I, I don't understand vanilla whatsoever. But all the beans come from Central and South America. And what's important is, at the chocolate tree, these are not picked by underage children. They're also not picked by adults in unsuitable working conditions. Every single bean here was picked by somebody earning a living wage. Next step in the process is we take the choco beans, which have a shell on them that aren't as delicious as the nib, which is what they call the little piece inside, which actually, even without sugar, is quite tasty. Take your tray of taco beans. So now this machine here is going to shell all of these nibs and, oh, try to hit the stop button. And it's gonna spit the nibs into this little area right here. And they're actually, I can taste one, right? Actually, they are pretty good. They would be better with sugar though. But, not too shabby. But that's the start. We're gonna get rid of the shells and we're gonna get the chocolate dips ready. Now that you have the nibs, you need to turn them into a liquid that you can mold into whatever shape you want. So you bring it over to this machine here named Thor. Interesting fact, there's a ton of fat in the chocolate. So you don't have to add liquids to turn them into a liquid. All you do is put them in here, you add the sugar and you spin them. The chocolate is actually quite acidic and this blending process allows the acidity and those chemicals in to dissipate into the air, which is why Choco Tree does this for 72 hours. Now this is important because if Choco Tree did this in 24 hours, it would taste almost as good and they make a lot more money but it wouldn't be the chocolate that they're famous and they would not have the reputation they have that they get by cutting profits to make quality. So, we're gonna taste it. And then I'm gonna get the drink chocolate out of a bag. This is amazing. Oh my God, really, really good. Okay, we're off to a good start. I'm not gonna smile because my teeth are gonna look bad, but uh, right now it's four different bats going Vicky, Bert, and Ernie, and it's the hazelnut and other flavors. They also make dark chocolate here, which I, I don't understand why anybody would ever eat dark chocolate, but I was told their dark chocolate's pretty good and I'm gonna get to taste it later, so we'll see if they're right. The chocolate uh, factory, the owner is a benevolent dictator. He gives his employees three minutes off every four days and this is what they do with their time. That's embarrassing. You can't have that. You need to do something about this. I agree. You, sir, are fired. But wherever will you find somebody to replace a grown man? Let me think. I know where to get them. Give me one second. I have backup employees. I smell an Academy Award coming. Come on, guys. I need your help today. You're working the chocolate factory because somebody missed a pop. 
Can you guys take his job? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you each work for one euro an hour apiece? Yeah. I just made you money, sir. chocolate is that the cocoa butter will actually separate from the chocolate and it's unstable and because it's unstable it has to be tempered just like steel especially because this chocolate is 100% orgasmic I, or organic I meant organic or we can cut that part out right what are, what are your names Maverick Dylan Maya Maya and they are the little people here and don't worry, they don't actually let children touch the chocolate before the, it goes into the packages, so don't worry. They're employees though. Oh my God, this is something that's been on my bucket list pretty much my whole life. feel bad. I think I actually made them sad. You guys, you guys, hey, hey, you guys, hey, hey, I'll make y'all feel better. Okay, if I give y'all a chocolate bar from the chocolate tube, would that make you happy? Okay, here you go. Here. This is the gift that keeps on giving. I've autographed a lot of different things in my day. Some of them, I can't say on YouTube, but I've never autographed a chocolate bar before. So now the final part of the process is to delicately place each of the chocolates in wax paper. Obviously, you don't need sticking the stuff. And you're going to package it up and ship this to Antarctica. All right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess that's the tour of the chocolate factory. It's been an amazing day. Uh, I'm going to take a second over here, and I'm going to say goodbye to my gracious hosts. Thank you to the little people. Yes. It's his birthday, by the way, and I was meaner to him than all of you. were great sport. Happy birthday, and uh, let's go say goodbye to the owners. I had the most amazing day here at Chocolate Tree, by far the best non-make-believe chocolate factory in the entire world. And what better way to end this video than by them allowing me to make a 15-meter putt past a bunch of breakable stuff.